so here we go. It says an isosceles triangle has a vertex angle measuring 30 degrees and two equal sides have a length of Q inches. What are the lengths of the base and inches? All right, so we got to know a few words. Do we know what an isosceles triangle means? And hopefully you do, guys. An isosceles triangle means that two sides are the same. Uh, so I'm going to say those two sides, and it's not to scale. The vertex angle, that means this is my vertex angle. I'm going to say that's 30 degrees. And the two equal sides. So these angles here must be congruent. So let's see, 180 minus 30, what's that? 150? And then take the 150 and divide it by 2. So these two angles are both. Uh, is that 75? Yeah, 75. I have 3 quarters and add another 3 quarters. That's $1.50. Yep. 75 degrees, 75 degrees. And this is Q, and this is Q. They told me that. What is the length of the base? So they want to know the length of that base. I'm going to call it X. So check it out, guys. I'm going to use law of cosines. I have the 30 degrees. This is the vertex, and I'm trying to figure out what X is. So law of cosines is X squared equals side. So Q squared plus Q squared minus 2 times Q times Q cosine of 30 degrees. And that's it. You're done with pre-cal. Now the rest is algebra. So this is why sometimes algebra can be kind of hard, guys. So here we go. X squared equals, and I got two of these dudes, so I'm going to say 2Q squared minus 2 times Q times Q. That's another 2Q squared. Cosine 30 degrees is square root of 3 over 2. What's up, miss? Yes. Uh, I think that's one right there. Is that one? No? Okay, try... Uh, you see back there that laptop? You can take that charger for now. See if that one works. If it doesn't, let me know. No? I do have uh, a charger. Open up that closet there and then look in the bottom. Yeah, just, and then way in the bottom. See if there's any wires or maybe in the middle of it. I'm sorry, Ms. Harris. Let me finish this here real quick and then I'll, I'll look for one. All right, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, cancel out these twos here. Oh, I mean, look, there's some chargers right there. Those are Chromebooks, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And so now I have 2Q squared minus uh, Q squared with a square root of 3 on it. I'm going to do a square root, square root. So now let's see. X equals, and I can factor out a Q squared, guys. Look at that. Square root of Q squared, parenthesis, 2 minus square root of 3. And hopefully you guys remember. Look, this is actually kind of fun, guys. The square root of Q squared, that's just Q. So I'm just going to write Q, square root, and I'm going to write 2 minus square root of 3. What do you guys think? And that's it. We're done. <laughs> that's the answer.